talked about Joe Nardella and his dominance at the X. This will be something to watch here. They will try Drew Simino against him for cannons. And it is Simino who pulls the ball away from Nardella and secures the opening possession for Cannon. Water Dogs left him unprotected in last year's expansion draft when it went to eight teams and the Cannons selected him. It's one of those guys that I think Sean Quirk was surprised was available. This young man who is a 2021 draft class out of Syracuse played every game over the last five years for Syracuse as Nardella loses the stick. The ball was still there. There was an opportunity for a cannon's possession, but it was overrun. Chris Hogan was undrafted in the NFL, forced his way onto a roster, won two Super Bowls. He went undrafted in the entry draft of the PLL this year, finds himself on the roster for Cannons Lacrosse Club, making his PLL debut here this afternoon, and his Cannons off to a great start. They're up 2-1, and an opportunity for Drew Simino right off the base. As Morocco was out towards the crease line, and it was initiated by the goalie, so the goal stood. All right, thanks to Seth Tierney, the head of competition for PLL. And right off the face-off, Whipsnakes come right back down and score again. Nardella. When you go against the Whipsnakes, it's not just that he wins the face-off. It's that offense is generated immediately afterwards. And he is a legit threat to score himself, so you have to slide to him. But then he can distribute the ball accordingly. And Williams, you saw that catch and ultra-quick release. Gets it in and out of the stick in the blink of an eye. Nardella. And Whipsnakes on a 4-0 run in 4-0-7. Nardella won another draw. Almost another the run. Oh. There's only a few guys that have the type of range to be able to pull that off. Morocco got a stick on it, too. He overpowered him while he was on the run. And now Whipsnakes behind another face-off. Oh, Paul Rabel made the play. As he said, stops the bleeding. It's back to a three-point game. Brad Smith, third-year member of this Whip Snakes team. And eight goals and 15 points in their championship series run over the summer as Nardella. Just has such a knack inside. So Whipsnakes two for four on the power play as Simino won the face off but couldn't keep it under control. And maybe that gets Lyle Thompson going. That's his first today. And right off the face off, Nardella another win. A couple of passes. Rambo didn't have the angle. But they need to be scrappier in that aspect of the game. Simino won just four of 12 officially, which means Nardella's at 69%. And Whipsnakes, this is an important face-off here because Whipsnakes have that carryover power play. Or excuse me, the Cannons have that carryover power play. And Nardella had a chance on it. He is taken out by Pulver. Merrill gets the point. swim move. If you get a quick step in the other direction, then... I got one. I got one. Split second, Ryan. Sometimes I opportunities where he's had kind of a lot of space to operate. Heads-up play there. Dodging in transition during the substitution game where there's just less bodies out there. Simino able to kick this one away, and it's Hogan securing it, and he is off to the races. Hogan just sprinting down the field. Jump shot. He gets height, changes the angle, and gets even more separation from his defender. Two goals for Zed Williams. Now five players on whip snakes with two points, but nobody has more than two. Face off for Nardella. Nardella drew Merrill the shot and they score. It's Williams again. Two goals in eight seconds for Zed Williams. Three on the day. And these are just backbreakers, right? You, you battled back, you win the face off. Nardella stays with it. And then it's just a four on three fast break. And again, he identifies. Nardella goes back with this one to get it away from Simino, and then the Wings came and got involved in Matt Abbott there. Drenner scored the very first goal this game. Just over two minutes into the first quarter. He has one here with six minutes to go 
where the defense isn't totally organized just yet. Number one pick in the entry draft to join Cannon's lacrosse We'll return the favor. Smith was taken ninth overall in the 2019 draft by Whip Snakes out of Duke, but an injury cost him the whole season as that faceoff wound up all the way to the edge of the crease, and eventually it is found and secured. So opportunistic offense there from the Cannons. And off the faceoff, Keelty had a chance on it. Nardella went sliding after it, and who else? The human vacuum cleaner, Brody Merrill. And there you see why. For today, for Williams, for Whipsnakes, for today, for Cannons, Nardella, the face-off win. That's number five for Zed Williams, and another face-off win that turns it's into been the exact same action. Yeah. Ten ground balls, three assists today for Joe Nardella, even though he is just at 52% officially at the X, he has made a bigger impact than 52%. I, I think you, you just, you got to rotate. And so it's a one goal game, 25 goals total, and it's Simino. Call for the he has really final. demonstrated his ability to dodge to generate his own shot, and then his ultra quick release with those step downs. Charlie Hayes. PLL on NBC, powered by Ticketmaster. A one-goal game inside six minutes to play. Whip Snakes up 14-13 on Cannons. Whip Snakes have won nine consecutive games dating back to their last loss, August 25th, 2019. They lost 11-8 to Archers that day. They haven't been tested all that much over an 8-1 run. At a lead of 8-3, it was 8-4 at halftime. Cannons got within two in the third quarter. They have finally got back to tie it, and now here... In their second game of 2021, Nardella and Simino, who at this point are almost split equally. And Nardella wins a quick faceoff, picks up the ground ball, sets up Williams, and it's Morocco with the answer. Save. 